In this video, I'm going to show how I've made the turbo manifold to suit my 1.5 JZ Laurel drift car. This is all 347 stainless steel, hand polished, hand welded. I'm going to show the processes behind making this manifold and installing it and then finishing the titanium intercooled parking. Here you can see, I've made sure that while welding the runners, I've put in a nice high fill to not leave any shallow spots. Once these welds are sanded back, I want the runners to have a seamless appearance to look like one continuous curve all the way from their head flange to the collector.
have the manifold all welded up now, ready to be pulled from the jig. I'll now get this into the car so that I can mock up the wastegate position where it will fit the best. Weld that on, port the manifold, and it'll be finished. So now you can see I've machined that flange face back perfectly flat for a nice gasket surface. I've also ported each runner nice and smooth for perfect flow. And this is now ready to go back into the engine bay for the piping. As you can see now, the manifold is in its place. The turbo outlet has been cut off, ready for me to weld an elbow on to finish this intercooler pipe in this corner here. So I've already got the titanium flange in this side of the clamp set, ready to go. This clamp set will be for the turbo elbow, where this side is aluminium, this side is titanium. There will be a a donut elbow welded in here to connect these points. I've taped together some titanium pie cuts which will go in here but as you can see it's a little tight through the alternator so I'm gonna add some bend add some more radius to each pie cut by linishing each face in this set to pull that radius in tighter and give us more clearance to the alternator here. I have now linished back and tacked four, four pie cuts on with the increased angle. These are still all standard and I might end up putting some twist in these to get these to where I want them. But this beginning has now pulled in nicely and we have a much tighter radius. As you can see now, there's probably maybe 10 or 12 mil, enough space to put my finger between the alternator and the pipe. And that's with these in place. So even with that, pipe using about, they have about three millimeters worth of uh, misalignment in these clamps. It'll still have plenty of space around that. This electrical terminal will have a, a rubber cap over the top as per standard to keep it safe and insulated. But I'm very happy with the, the space that this has gained. And it actually looks a lot nicer now being tucked in closer as well. So that pipe should come through fairly straight now and, and straight into the turbo. Now that I've manipulated the pie cuts into position to get the pipe around the alternator and pointing in the direction that I want, this is just a little bit of scrap to get the straight sort of showing us what we're gonna do. I'm now going to make the elbow into the turbo out of an aluminum donut, um, and that will lock that position in so I can finalize this pipe and, and do all the welding on that.
the turbo elbow is now made. I'm going to weld this in the rotator after a little scotch bright polish. You can see that this is two and a half inch. I've tapered it down to two inch on this end so that it matches the two inch opening on the turbo. I didn't want to do a two inch elbow as then I'm gonna have to step the titanium pipe up as it's two and a half inch in the guard here. So to make it a nice parallel diameter the whole way through the titanium, I keep that two and a half inch and do the transition in this bend, which I find is quite nice, quite, quite tidy. Nice way to do it. A uh, little rotated weld around this, weld this to the turbo housing, and it will all line up very nicely. So this will be in place here. Obviously that straight there is just a bit of scrap, but it's all going to line up and weld together quite well. Simple little section with some nice shape in it. Elbow is welded on the turbo now. It's come up quite nicely, very happy with the welds on this. I even ported the inside. You may not be able to see that too well in the video, but tried to give it a bit of a transition from the cast turbo into the housing there. Now to put it in the car and finish the titanium pipe. intercooler pipe all mocked up ready for some welding and it will get polished just as the inlet side did to give it a nice shine You can see that the welds again have a bit of color in them after using the rotator. I am getting happier. Some of these are a bit more silver and gold rather than the, the purple coloring and whatnot. But the welds themselves are very nice and I'm going to polish this just as I did the throttle body pipe just to give it a nice uniform finish. Very happy with how this purged up. Nice silver welds on the inside. Finally have the manifold installed, ported, done, intercooler piping, finished on both sides. Very satisfying to have this finally in the car. You can see that now this pipe has plenty of movement for the engine to move around, plenty of clearance, looks quite nice. The intake pipe will be made soon, same style, titanium from here into the air filter, as you can see. I'm waiting on materials for that still, but that should happen soon. And just overall very happy with this.